Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace as well as clean the fuel injectors on this 2002 Ford Escape with the 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine. And the items you'll need for this is a flat blade screwdriver, an 8mm socket and ratchet, an 8mm wrench, T27 Torx bit or driver, and if you're cleaning the fuel injectors, you're going to need a large syringe, fuel injection hose, some wire, a switch, and carburetor cleaner. Now we can't start our car, but what you want to do right now is start your car, pull out the fuse, and then just let the engine die. and that relieves the pressure on the fuel line. Now loosen up this hose clamp and then pull the air intake hose free, pull this small hose off, then push the tab on this harness and disconnect it. Flip these two tabs up and then just pull this hose free. Now just push the tabs on the harnesses going to your fuel injectors and disconnect them. There's four in total and we'll just fast forward as Mike does the other three. And for this one it helps to use some pliers. And then remove these two 8mm bolts. And we'll just fast forward as Mike does that with an 8mm wrench. Now when you pull this um, hose apart, you are going to have some fuel leaking out. Uh, ours actually comes out under pressure because we were not able to run the engine and relieve the pressure. Uh, but you will have plenty of fuel that comes out. And then you want to remove these four T27 bolts holding your throttle body on. And we'll fast forward as Mike removes those. Pull your throttle body free, and then just push the tab on this harness and disconnect it. And then set the throttle body off to the side. Now there's two 8mm bolts holding the fuel rail in place. Just go ahead and remove those. Carefully pry out on the fuel rail. This will pull your fuel injectors out and then you can pull the fuel rail up and just disconnect this vacuum line. I'm going to remove the injector from the fuel rail, just kind of move it around a little bit. I'm, I'm applying some pressure down while I pry out on this clip here. Okay, now I'm going to apply some pressure kind of to the side and pry out on this clip. And I gotta pull out and keep the clips from coming back. Okay, so take the clip off. Our O ring came off when we pulled it off, but you wanna either remove it with your fingers or a little bent tip all. Just be careful, very careful not to damage the O ring. Get the all in underneath and pull it off. And now I have a little kind of test rig as well as a cleaning rig. These are just leads with little uh, ends on them that plug into the injector. I just have a pair of battery cables holding the wire to the battery here. Just a simple way to connect it. Just make sure that's secure. So I'm going to hook one lead onto one side of the injector. It doesn't really matter which side or anything. And then another lead onto the other side of the injector. And I have a switch here. And first we can test the injector. I'm going to push the switch down. You should hear the injector click. Okay. Now I'm going to take my cleaning rig, which is just a 
syringe with a piece of 5 16 fuel injection hose on it. Put the hose on nice and secure. I've already got some fluid in there. So I'm going to take uh, the hose, put it onto the injector. You want to make sure this fits nice and tight on here. Point it into my bottle and I'm going to put quite a bit of pressure on it. You're not going to really uh, duplicate the pressure that the fuel pump puts on it, but pressure on it. You can see it's just coming out in two little lines. You really want it to spread more than that. And in the fluid I'm just using starting fluid. Either starting fluid or brake cleaner uh, is a good cleaner. So we can see this is good and we've run some fluid through it. So hopefully it'll work. Okay, pull the syringe back some to release some pressure. Take it off. Remove the wires. I'm going to put the O ring back on. Right here, I just have a cap with just a little bit of motor oil on it. Take the motor oil, put it around the ring of the O ring. Okay, just looking at my fuel rail. And actually, these clips only go on one way. Let's see here. Put the clip on. And then I want my uh, connection facing that way. Once you have the oil on there and it's all clean, usually they press in pretty easily. Now let's repeat that for all four. Reinstall the fuel rail. We put a little bit of oil on each one of the injectors on the O-rings. So we're going to put it down in place, being careful not to hit the injectors against anything. reconnect the vacuum line here and then carefully watch it as it goes down into the holes We'll fast forward as Mike replaces those two 8mm bolts in the fuel rail and then tightens them up. Reconnect the harnesses to each of the fuel injectors, making sure they click down all the way into place. Okay, blue o-ring, fish it out of the fuel rail if, you, if it didn't come out with the hose, reinstall it. Just a little bit of motor oil right around the edge. Now push the fuel line into the rail. And once you have it in, just replace those two bolts and tighten them up. Now just reconnect the harness to your throttle body and then lower the throttle body back down into place and replace those four screws and tighten them back up. Feed your air intake hose back down. Reconnect the harness to your mass airflow sensor. Put the air intake box back together and reclip it. Reconnect the smaller hose. And then push this back down onto the throttle body. 
and tighten up that hose clamp. Then just replace your fuel pump fuse and you're all set. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.